A 13-year-old boy is dead. I really love you, Chris. Less than two days later... We received a uh, 911 call of a uh, potentially deceased child. His best friend's lifeless body is also found in his own home. I've never seen anything like this in my career. Police believe their 15-year-old classmate may be partly to blame. We've now filed charges against one individual involved. There could be others. And a community is left mourning. We are here today to celebrate the joy of Grant Seaver's life. Grant was a happy boy who lived every minute of his short life to the fullest. How did 13-year-old Grant Seaver and his best friend Ryan Ainsworth, two seemingly normal boys, lose their lives so young? According to autopsy reports released just days ago, the culprit is this, a powerful new synthetic opioid called Pink. Doctors say just touching as little as three grains of the powdery drug can trigger an overdose. It's about seven and a half times more potent than morphine. Our Salt Lake City affiliate KSTU reports the drug known as pink or pinky on the street got its name because people are sniffing it off their pinky finger. What's more, the deadly drug can be ordered on the internet for about 50 cents a capsule. It re produces euphoria, pain relief, relaxation. Unfortunately, it also produces respiratory depression, which means it stops people from breathing and slips them into a coma and death. In fact, authorities believe the drug, also known as U47700, could be responsible for at least 50 deaths nationwide and may have even been a contributing factor in the death of Prince. But doctors say it's not just people who can die from pink. Police canines sniffing out drugs are also at risk. Just a grain or two on a dog's paw could be deadly. These drugs are becoming stronger and stronger um, yes, they, they're, they're very scary. Charges have been filed against a 15-year-old boy in connection with the deaths of Grant and Ryan. A search warrant affidavit shows the teenager was purchasing drugs online. One package delivered from China to a Park City home had a clear bag containing a white powder substance. The teen was then seen distributing it to two of his friends. Absolute tragedy that this has happened. The boy could be tried as an adult, facing one second-degree felony and a Class A misdemeanor. They're going to look at this, they're going to find out how this was done, how it was accomplished, who did it, and make sure that someone's held responsible. But making the drug illegal is challenging for law enforcement. Since drug makers can tweak the formula, changing as little as one molecule can make the substance legal again. The DEA is trying to put it on their emergency list to make it illegal, but it's on it's it's in the process of being discussed with the use of synthetic opioids at an all-time high some doctors are urging people to store a pure antidote in their medicine cabinets it's called naloxone and it can reverse an overdose for now police are scrambling to find more information about the dangerous drug with the hopes of stopping the scourge before another parent's child is lost